Hi guys, it's Brooklyn and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I make videos twice a week, so on Tuesdays and on Fridays. And if you're a transcriber, thank you so so much for your good day, love and support of my channel. And I'm really hoping you're enjoying my content. So it's a new setup. I've got the camera propped on well actually my iPad propped on like a perfume gift set box and then underneath it's like two pillows on this bed, so yeah. So we're going to crack the end of this video. So basically it's the October and November 2020 beauty favourites. So it's got a few goodies there to show you. And yeah, I'm just going to get stuck into it. So I'll start with some of the hair care stuff. So I've got four hair care products just to speak about basically. So the first is this Aveeno Skin Relief. It's uh, just a shampoo there shampoo for dry sensitive scalps basically so it relieves very dry and relieves very dry and sensitive scalp so gently cleanses the hair and helps relieve itchy sensation caused by a related to a dry scalp suitable for sensitive skin so years ago when my scalp did flare up a few years ago when I had like a bit of eczema on my scalp we just shampoo and the shampoo just got rid of it really really just like that just literally have to clear it up within a couple of weeks and i'd be dealing with flare-ups on and off for months due to stress and stuff like that that was like 2017 then i started using the shampoo and believe me not it just went within a few weeks and it helped my scalp so this is brilliant for um if you're suffering from eczema psoriasis on your scalp and yeah, I don't have any of them symptoms now. But sometimes do you get a dry scalp in winter, so this shampoo is just really, really good to have on hand just to help kind of soothe the scalp. And it also doesn't dry your hair out, so it's good for if you've got coloured hair or like quite dry, damaged hair like myself. It's a really good shampoo to use if you want something that's going to relieve a dry scalp but without chipping colour out. Like you can get that head and shoulders. Don't touch that unless you have like proper dandruff because. I remember years ago trying that and it literally burnt the scalp on me. <laughs> no, it's not good. But this one's really, really good. It's just a really good shampoo. Yeah, it's dear for drugstore. It's like about six or seven pounds in boots, but it's worth it and it lasts ages. I use it every other wash, so yeah, or probably even every wash now. It's really, really good. So, the next shampoo, like her car thing, I have to talk about is this Charles Worthington Color Flex. No, Plex, Color Plex, get it right, love. Color Flex, um, enhancing brunette shampoo. Just basically like a color deposit and brunette shampoo. I got this from Boots, I think it's about six or seven pounds, same price as it, Vino. So I remember a couple of years ago when I had platinum blonde, like white blonde, ashy hair. The plat, the platinum blonde, no. The ultraviolet shampoo from this range they do do a few different shades of different hair colors so they have um ultraviolet they've got violet which is not as strong as ultraviolet it's more like a kind of gentle not as intense purple shampoo but the ultraviolet one's like the most intense they have a blue shampoo which is mainly used for like brunette with highlight but if i ever go back blonde again which will be not anytime soon because i've still got bleach in my hair and i'm waiting for that to grow out if i ever decide to go back blonde which i will do in the mid 30s or something like that i will probably use a blue shampoo to see what it's like because i think it could work on blonde hair because it's more for orange tones but yeah they have one for blondes like warmer blondes and then also have one for like brunettes i'm not sure what other ones i'll try to see if i can find out but this one's obviously a color deposit shampoo for brunettes so basically when you put it in your hair like it deposits pigment the same as like the violet one the blue one Basically, I don't want to get it all over the bed, but you can see it's more like a brown look. Just gives a brown tint to your So it does have a warm brown pigment. So if you don't want warm brown tones in your hair, don't use it. Just use a blue shampoo. But if you do want a warm look with brown tones in your hair, it's brilliant. So my hair, I recently went like um like a dark brown. It's faded a little bit. I haven't had it done in like over four weeks so the roots are starting to come through thick and fast but I'm trying to leave it. I don't know why my hair is sitting weird. Like that hair line wasn't sitting right there. But you can see there the roots are kind of starting to come through and I'm getting done during the week so it's fine. But this one just kind of helps um stop your hair from fading so much by adding pigment to it. And um, because 
a dark brown colour. I did choose, if you're wondering, it was the Garnier Olea in the shade 323 Black Amber. So it's basically like a black chocolate colour. So it's just better for like, the warmer tones are better for if you want to keep the chocolate tone to your hair. That's what I'm saying, but it's really, really good. One downside, it does dry your hair out, so you may use like a good deep conditioner mask after you rinse it off. So just bear that in mind. So on to the next product, which is a deep conditioner mask, funny enough. It's the L'Oreal Siri Expert um, Absolute Repair Lipomium or Lipidum. It's this one. And it's an absolute repair mask, so you put it in as a conditioner, like it's basically a deep conditioner, and you leave it in for like five minutes. I use it. I usually leave it. <laughs> I leave it in for five minutes, like I say, sometimes even longer. Because what I do, you put it in my hair, I put my hair in one of these wee bobbles, like a loose bun in a bobble, and I just exfoliate my old tan off. Because every wash day, like every hair wash day, twice a week, um. Well, I put a mask on, I do my exfoliating, so it kind of works hand in hand with my tanning routine. So, this stuff is sitting on my head twice a week for about five to ten minutes, so it's really, really good. It does help kind of repair some of the damage and all and keep her healthy, so it's good for like looking after her. It is more of an expensive product, but I got it for cheaper because I have a Sally's um, trade card, so I'm able to get the stuff on discount, which is amazing. So. If you're looking for a good um, repair and deep conditioner mask, I would definitely say this one. It's really, really good. So, the last hair care product, which I'm sorry, it's not, it's not an expensive one. It's Oliplex, Oliplex um, number six. Basically, they're bond smoother, so you put it in as a blow dry cream. So, once you've washed and conditioned your hair, you have it in towel, you take it out of the towel, put this about not that much about that much of the product into your hair rub it right through brush it through use your heat protectant and stuff you would normally use when you style your hair blow dry your hair and it just blow dries it into the hair as the heat just works in so it's really really good it isn't a conditioning product it's more like a building like um just building the bonds up so it's not going to like be a deep conditioning i think it's more like protein or just bond building so it's good for like just preventing breakage and keeping your hair strong yes don't bleach my hair i haven't bleached my hair um in over a year and i don't plan to do so as i said before but i do still color because i have to because i don't like the natural hair color so having something like this to kind of help the ends of my hair which have been bleached from being blonde help but keep it as healthy as possible it's it's vital for me it definitely is it's just to keep my hair nice and healthy, especially because I'll be getting married next year. I don't want my hair to be fried. So, yeah, keep my hair healthy, like I'm using good products as I do. So, this stuff is really, really good. Don't use too much of it because you will notice it. And if you have finer hair than me, which my hair is decently thick, um, I use about that much. But if you've got finer hair, I use about like literally a pea size amount because you don't, a little of this goes a long way. Don't need too much of it. So, yeah. It's dear but it's good. The next product is a tanning product. It's this Coco Brown. It's their one hour tan. And it's in the shade extra dark. So it's basically their repackaged version of their original one hour tan. They do, do four shades in this. They do medium, they do dark, extra dark and ultra dark. The reason they got extra dark instead of ultra dark, which normally do do, normally do get. It's because I didn't have any in Primark and I got this from Primark and it was £6. I got it about a few weeks ago and it's a decent enough tan. I've been loving it. I have it on now. Like it's just a nice dark tan. I wouldn't say it comes to extra for me but it's more like a dark, like a nice dark. Even with a double coated it does come like extra dark but it isn't like a proper really, really dark tan. But it is decent enough but you have to put a good amount on for it to be dark. But it's a good budget tan, I do like it and it's easy look it's easy and quick to apply and I find the best kind of benefits of it because it's a wet mousse, it's not like one of them traditional mousses, it's like a wet kind of wet mousse so it dries quite quick. It's arrow, with an arrow mousse, that's what it is. And it dries quite quick into your skin so you don't have to wait too long to put your clothes back on <laughs> after you do your tan. So it's good if you're in a rush and you don't want to wait around um, for your tan to dry before you put your clothes on. It's just a good tan to use. So yeah, 
I will try the ultra dark one in that and see what it is and I'll review both of them. Uh, on to the makeup, so I've got this Outer Pectin and Spatter that's kept it in the box since I got it two years ago. It's the Anastasia Subculture palette, basically like their lovely green packaging. Now I know I've talked about this on the channel on and off for the last two years but I've just rediscovered it. I haven't used it for a while because I've been using different products and been going to the caravan and all and haven't like been bringing like loads of makeup with me. Like loads of palettes I mean. Loads of makeup, loads, not loads of palettes. So basically I just got this out um, last month or a month ago. Month or so ago and I've been loving it. So basically it has all these kind of green and berry tones to it, gold, green, berry, brown tones. They are stunning. So I still keep the brush now because the brush is really, really good. But I particularly love the green tones. I love doing a green smoky eye with the gold or like the green glitter on the lid. My favourite. And I also love like the berry tones. Like the berry tones are just lovely. I'll show you up close. I'm sure you'll see this like countless times, plenty of times. But it's just really, really nice. Make a daffy tail. I've used a few of them shades to heck so yeah it's just lovely i love the mustard tones too so what i like to do for like the mustard tones i like to use them um, as transitional shades and then go with the green then go with the gold on the lid just a nice kind of warm autumnal gr grungy smoky eye basically <laughs> i couldn't get that word out but it's a nice grungy palette it is quite grungy but still girly lure as well it's more like these unusual shades so it's a grungy girly palette <laughs> i just love it i really really do some people don't like that palette i said before like some people just don't really like the pigment on it but i think the pigment's really good it doesn't like fall out loads i if anything i find the norvina palette has more fallout like way more than this one so must be different batches and stuff like that but this palette is so far one of my favorite palettes i just love it so much I did used to have the W7 on the rock, which is a dupe, and if you're looking for a good dupe of it, go for the W7 one, but I just love this palette. I didn't bother with any eyeshadow of the day, but when I have been wearing eyeshadow, like October and November, I've been reaching for this, basically, so yeah. I don't know why I'm showing you the eyeshadow one, why I'm doing that. Flip sake. Get a grip, love. <laughs> but yeah, this palette is just a really, really good one, and I definitely recommend if you're into them, kind of different grungy green and plum tones it's just nice so another um favorite it's this rediscovered one well tell that's not rediscovered it's been reaching for it the past couple of months it's the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade sand i've had it over a year so i've been trying to even though i love it so much i've been trying to use it up so and get you said I don't make up and I want to like leave it in the drawer and say I'll use it for special occasions. I use it when I wear makeup most of the time. I don't have it on now, but in mind I've got like a sample of double wear on. But this one's a really really good foundation. I want to get the shade latte in it. I do have the shade latte in their powder and also in their concealer, which I use as a foundation too. But I want to get the shade latte in their actual foundation. So when this runs out and I've used up a good amount of my foundation, I will get this in the shade latte this foundation is definitely like i mean the full coverage foundation it's quite luminous but not too luminous it is a lovely foundation it just sits so nice on my skin especially over top of a liquid or illuminated primer it's just to die for it is amazing this foundation is what i'm going to be wearing on my wedding day but i think i will get the shade latte i don't know i think i will but yeah it's amazing it's dear enough but it isn't too dear well it's £29 so it's dear enough for foundation but it's worth it and it's lasted me over a year bear in mind I have other foundations and stuff like that but it just it's amazing if you're looking for like a nice kind of like luminous full coverage foundation you'll love this it's just so nice I love it so enough said about that so primer I'm not sure this has been in my previous favourites but it, if it has I don't really care <laughs> it's the e.l.f. poreless body primer this stuff I have it on underneath my foundation now this stuff is amazing it makes your skin feel so smooth your makeup goes on even better when you have this on it fills in pores it just makes your skin just feel amazing it's basically like a white potty primer so basically I've used quite a bit of it up if you can see there basically just a nice white 
primer just blurs into your skin. It doesn't go white on your skin. It kind of dries it in clear, but it just fills in your skin. It smooths it out, and your skin just feels like baby soft after you use it. It's just it's amazing, and it's day pound from Superdrug or Boots, but I just love it. I think I'll probably wor be wearing that on my wedding as well, like underneath my foundation, definitely. It's a good primer. And it's a triple that's attached to Cell Canvas primer, which I would love to get, but I'm not paying for flipping shipping and getting it from America, no way. So this one will do me, basically. So, last two items, so three items, how lie. This one is a lip plumper, so basically it's the... Barry M Latswell XXL Lip Plumper in the shade Diamond. It's basically a clear but a bit of glitter in it. So basically I've been loving this for keep my lips nice and full. So basically I just when I'm doing my makeup, so once I've done my foundation, concealer and all and powder, I put this on and do my eyes and the rest of my face. And then once I go under my lips, my lips are plumped and I just take that off and put my lipstick on. I did use it today before I put my lipstick on and it just it just really makes your lips plump, soft, smooth. If you suffer with dry lips, like really like wrinkly lips and all, you'll love this. It just really plumps them right out, makes your lips feel nice and soft and full. I just love it. I think it's about £5 from Barry M, so it's cheap enough. Lip plumper, so it's good. I love it. And there's dogs barking, so sorry about that. <laughs> we grey dogs, but yeah. Last two are eye products. So basically, this is the Rimmel um, Scandalize Eye Pencil in the shade Black. I have it on now, like it's just basically an eyeliner, but it lasts all day. It's super black and it's just good for like the waterline. I love it, it's amazing. And I've been using it for like eight years. Like, not this one, obviously, not Dartbird. <laughs> Don't come for me, but I've been repurchasing it for eight years. It's the best drugstore like pencil waterproof eyeliner and it's four pound so it's a bargain i just love it it's super black too i've tried all different ones and that one's one of the best from the drugstore now if i had to go high end the urban decay slide on um eye pencil and version is just as good as that so yeah but this last favorite which you're probably glad because i just ramble on crazy is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I have it on now. My eyelash extensions have all fallen off, so my eyelashes are kind of recovering from having big Russian volume lashes on them. So they're basically not looking their best, but they will get back into shape. So this just helps them look fuller and just make the most out of what I've got now. And the, this mascara just is amazing. I've got like two coats of it on now, like one or two coats. And it stays on all day because it's waterproof. It's like the Lash Paradise one. It just makes your eyelashes look like big fake ones. I just love it. It is to die for. So yeah, it's a really, really good mascara. So yeah. So that is it for my um, October and November 2020 beauty favourites. I hope you enjoyed the video. Didn't ramble on too much. And I'll see you again for the next one. Stay gorgeous. Bye.